Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. This week I'd like to talk to you about how our habits are shaped and formed by the communities and culture to which we belong. Western Christians often make the mistake of thinking that faith is quite an individualistic thing, something we author as individuals, but actually, ironically, that's because we belong to a culture that is individualistic. Our culture and the communities of, to which we belong shape our habitus more than we could possibly imagine. And we need to be alive to and aware of that if we're going to work with Jesus and the Holy Spirit to make our habitus more holy. Think of it like this. We're born into a culture and it's a culture that shapes us as people from our infancy. So, for example, I was born British and that means that I take it as read that you eat fish and chips often and that when you eat them you sprinkle upon them liberally ground rock salt crystals and diluted acetic acid. Now, people from outside from another culture might say, "What? why are you spoiling a perfectly decent meal with strange things like that? But because I'm British, it would be a crime not to. That's part of our shared habitus. So culture shapes people, but people shape culture. Somebody at some stage must have said to their friends and family, hey, try this. Salt and vinegar on fish and chips is great fun. And it eventually became part of the culture. Same is true of church and disciples. And when we join uh, Jesus in this adventure of discipleship, we join a church which shapes us, it helps us and forms us in the way of Christ. It teaches us that we're to regularly practice communion, for example, a ceremonial way of practicing and reminding ourselves of the death and resurrection of Jesus. But it was Jesus who introduced that to the community of disciples in the first place. And it's disciples as individuals who hold the church accountable to the vision of the Jesus life. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 say this, Let us consider then how we may spur one another on to love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Two things coming out of that related to what we've just been saying are this. Firstly, that we need to be regularly meeting with other Christians. We need to make that our habit, because the people we hang out with will shape us. So if we're not regularly meeting with role models, mentors, close personal friends who are committed to the way of Christ, if we're not regularly attending a church community, then that's going to have impact on our habitus. The second thing is this. How are we playing a part in the spurring on of others to love and good deeds? How are we holding our community of disciples accountable to the way of Christ? How are we those people saying, come on people, we can do better than this. Let's keep closer to Christ. Think about that this week.